What is SFDC? SFTC stands for Salesforce.com. Salesforce started as software as a service, says, CRM company. Salesforce now provides various software solutions and a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom software. Salesforce.com is based on multi-tenant architecture. This means that multiple customers share common technology and all run on the latest release. You don't have to worry about the application or infrastructure upgrades, they happen automatically. This helps your organization focus on innovation rather than managing technology. What is the difference between Force.com and Salesforce.com? Force.com is platform as a service, biz, while Salesforce.com is software as a service, says. Why SFDC? It is available on cloud no need to install any software and no hardware required. Force.com platform reduce development cost. App Exchange it is very good market place to sell our custom applications and to buy applications from App Exchange. More demand CRM. What is a custom object in Salesforce? Custom objects refer specifically to database tables that store data related to your company in Salesforce.com. What is CRM? CRM is a modal used to manage organization interactions like phone calls, emails, social media and meetings with customers and prospects penetrating to sales, marketing and support. Define Object Relationship Overview in Salesforce you can link the standard and custom object records in a related list. It is done by Object Relationship Overview. Various types of relationships can be created in order to connect the specific business cases with specific customers. It is possible to create custom relationship on an object and define various relationship types. How many relationships are present in Salesforce? The two important relationships in Salesforce include Lookup relationship. Master detail relationship. What is a self relationship? A self relationship is a lookup relationship to the same object. It is this premise that allows users to take the object merchandise and create relationships with other objects. What can cause data loss in Salesforce? Data loss in Salesforce can be caused by a number of reasons, including Changing from text area to email, phone, URL, and text. Changing to auto number except from text. Changing data and date time. Migrating to percent, number, and currency from other data types. Changing from multi-select picklist, checkbox, auto number to other types. Altering to multi-select picklist from any type except picklist. Explain the order of execution in Salesforce. System validation rule. Before triggers. Custom validation rules. After triggers. Assignment rules. Auto response rules. Workflow rules. Before and after triggers are executed again if workflow rules updates or inserts any field. Escalation rules. Formula fields. Sharing rules. Post commit logic. What is a trigger in Salesforce? A trigger is just a code that is executed before or after a record is inserted or updated. What is trigger.new? Trigger.new is a command which returns the list of records that have been added recently to the S objects. To be more precise, those records will be returned which are yet to be saved to the database. Note that this S object list is only available in insert and update triggers, and the records can only be modified in before triggers. But just for your information, trigger. Old returns a list of the old versions of the S object records. Note that this S object list is only available in update and delete triggers. What is field dependency? According to the field selection on one field filter the pick list values on other field. What is the difference between trigger and workflow? Workflow is an automated process that fires an action based upon evaluation criteria and rule criteria. As described above, trigger is the code that is executed on or after the record is updated or inserted.
What is the difference between trigger? New, trigger. Old, trigger.new map and trigger.old map. Trigger. New, it returns the list of new records which are updated or inserted on objects. Trigger. Old, it returns the list of old records which are updated or deleted on and from objects. Trigger.new map, it returns the map of IDs of new records. Available only for update and insert. Trigger.old map, it returns the map of IDs of old records. Available only for update and delete. What is sandbox and explain different types of sandboxes. Sandboxes are the environment where we develop and test our code before implementing it into the production. There are four types of sandboxes. Developer sandbox. It can copy only the metadata from production. Data storage is limited to 200 megabytes. Refresh interval is one day. Developer pro sandbox. It can also copy only the metadata from production. Data storage is limited to 1 gigabyte. Refresh interval is 1 day. Partial copy sandbox. It can copy copy both data and metadata from production. Data storage is limited to 5 gigabytes and can copy maximum of 10,000 records from a single object. Refresh interval is 5 days. Full copy sandbox. It is similar to production and everything from production can be copied. No limit on data storage. Refresh interval is 29 days. What are the different relationships in Salesforce? Lookup relationship. External lookup relationship. Indirect lookup relationship. Self relationship. Hierarchical relationship. Many to many relationship, junction object. Master detail relationship. Can we convert the lookup relationship to master detail relationship? Yes, we can convert the lookup relationship to master detail relationship only if all the existing record has valid lookup field values. What is federated single sign on authentication? In Salesforce, if federated single sign-on authentication is enabled then the Salesforce does not validate user's password. Instead of validating user's password Salesforce verifies an insertion in the HTTP POST request and allows single sign-on if the assertion is true, if assertion is false Salesforce does not allow SSO. What is wrapper class? A wrapper class is a class whose instances are collection of other objects. It is used to display different objects on a visual force page in same table. What is the sharing rule? The sharing rules are applied when a user wishes to allow access to other users. What is static resources? Using static resources we can upload images, zip files, JOR files, JavaScript and CSS files that can be referred in a visual force page. The maximum size of static resources for an organization is 250 MB. What are the various types of reports available in Salesforce? Tabular report, in this the grand total is displayed in a table format. Matrix report, an in-depth report wherein that there is both row-based and column-based grouping. Summary report, a report in which the grouping is on the column basis. Joined report, a joining of two or more reports into one. What is SOCL, SOCL and DML in Salesforce? SOCL, Salesforce Object Query Language. It is used to query data from objects. It is similar to SQL but here tables are objects and columns are the object fields. Records are retrieved. Using select keyword. SOCL, Salesforce Object Search Language. It is similar to SOCL but it returns list of list of objects because it works on multiple objects. Records are retrieved using find keyword. DML, data manipulation language. This is used to manage records in Salesforce. Keywords used are update, delete, insert and upsert, merge, undelete. What is the difference between SOCL and SOCL? SOCL is Salesforce Object Query Language and SOCL is Salesforce Object Search Language. If you are sensing that Salesforce is a culture unto itself, you are correct. 
What is a governor limit in Salesforce? Salesforce governor limits are the runtime limits that are apply in order to have some performance to the database since it runs on multi-tenancy environment. What are governor limits in Salesforce.com? Governor limits are runtime limits which is enforced at the time of Apex runtime. Why? Because Apex runs in a shared, multi-tenant environment. The Apex runtime engine strictly enforces a number of limits to ensure that code does not monopolize shared resources. Types of limits that Apex enforces are Memory Database resources Number of script statements to avoid infinite loops Number of records being processed what are the governor limits? Here are some Apex limits. Description synchronous limit. Total number of records retrieved by SQL queries 50,000. Total number of records retrieved by database.get query locator 10,000. Total number of SQL queries issued 20. Total number of records retrieved by a single SQL query 2,000. Total number of DML statements issued to 150. Total number of records processed as a result of DML statements, approval, process, or database.m to recycle bin 10,000. What is Apex? Apex is a strongly typed, object-oriented programming language that allows developers to execute flow and transaction control statements on the force.com platform server in conjunction with calls to the force.com API using syntax that looks like java and acts like database stored procedures apex enables developers to add business logic to most system events including button clicks related record updates and visual force pages apex code can be initiated by web service requests and from triggers on objects what is an apex transaction an apex transaction represents a set of operations that are executed as a single unit the operations here include the DML operations which are responsible for querying records. All the DML operations in a transaction either complete successfully, or if an error occurs even in saving a single record, then the entire transaction is rolled back. What is test class and why do we need it? A test class is an Apex class that tests your logic written in either Apex class or trigger programmatically. A test class actually ensures that your code is working fine as expected. What are the recommended ways to refactor an Apex? I use the second method. After refactoring, I select the SRC folder, use file search, replace and all the changes are made and saved to the server in one go. What are the different types of collections in Apex? What are maps in Apex? Collections are the type of variables which can be used to store multiple number of records, data. It is useful because governor limits restrict the number of records you can retrieve per transaction. Hence, collections can be used to store multiple records in a single variable defined as type collection and by retrieving data in the form of collections, governor limits will be in check. Collections are similar to how arrays work. There are three collection types in Salesforce. Lists. Maps. Sets. Maps are used to store data in the form of key value pairs, where each unique key maps to a single value. Syntax, map string, string country underscore city equals new map string, string. What is common between Java and Apex? A second question that will definitely be asked during interviews is the common points between Apex and Java. You first have to mention that both of them have classes, have common OOP features and have inheritance as well polymorphism. They also have the same expression and variables and are also capable of looping syntax. They have the same block and statement syntax too. The same object and same array is also a common point. They are all compiled typed strongly and transactional too. Which fields are automatically indexed in Salesforce? Only the following fields are automatically indexed in Salesforce. Primary keys, id, name and owner fields. Foreign keys, lookup or master detail relationship fields. Audit dates, such as system mod stamp. Custom fields marked as an external ID or a unique field. What is difference in cert, 
and database. Insert. Using insert method we can insert the records but if any error occurs in any record system will throw an error insertion fail and none of the records are inserted. If we want to execute partially successive bulk insert operation we will use database. Insert. What is tab in Salesforce? Tab is a user interface component to user creates to display custom object data. What is Visual Force in Force.com? The Visual Force can be defined as the user interface for the Force.com platform. It is a component based framework that can include over 100 built in components. It includes a tag based markup language, and each Visual Force tag corresponds to a page or field. The Visual Force framework works on a standard MVC paradigm. It is possible to have a tight integration with the database and also deploy auto-generated controllers for database objects. Developers can use Apex codes to write own controllers. It is also possible to access Ajax components or create your own components. What are class constructors? Class constructors also use a very special method that can be used to create any such objects out of a class definition. The constructors will never have any explicit types of return. Constructors also have the same name as classes do. They are default, have no arguments and are also constructors in case there are no explicit constructors. Constructors can also be an overload which means you could have several constructors that have unique parameters, different kinds of signatures and argument list. They are also called before all the methods inside their class. What is audit trail? Audit trail is a function that helps track all the changes performed by different administrators to the organization in the past six months. It covers details such as Date of changes made Username that made the changes Details of the changes made What is the difference between Salesforce Object Query Language and Salesforce Object Language Search? The main difference is highly necessary. Salesforce Object Query Language has one object that can be searched for at one time whereas there are many objects that could be searched for at a time. Second Sokka will have queries in all kinds of fields whereas query can only be used in emails, phone and texts. Third, Sokka will be used for all classes and triggers whereas Salesforce Object Search Language could be used for classes but not triggers, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.